Uh, yeah, that guy was smoking meth. My hometown. This is Morgan, if you don't already know. And this is the Shark Tank. San Jose is a very, very big city. I moved here when I was 15 in 2004. Went to Willow Glen High School. I found my first phone when I was in Willow Glen. Some of you know that I was 17 when I found that crow in San Jose in the Willow Glen area, although that's not really why I call myself Crow Man 17. It's not technically where the 17 comes from. But uh, today I'm going to be walking around downtown San Jose to show a lot of the changes that have been made in the last few years. And what really hasn't changed at all. Now we got this park over here. Well, like most parks in the Bay Area or California or pretty much any Democrat run metropolis these days. Yeah, you see a squirrel. <laughs> They're, uh, the parks are more for the homeless people than they are for families and kids. They're not, they're not for kids anymore. They're for the homeless. <laughs> when I was in high school, maybe like twice we came here and we smoked. It just, it seems really, it's just a really sad park. Like they built it with all this, what, what, what? You want. They built it with all this intention of it being something, and it just became another homeless encampment. Well, maybe not necessarily an encampment, but you know, junkies. People come here to shoot up heroin and. What? We've got a lot of geese. Canadian honkers are out and about. They're probably wondering, like, dude, what's this dude doing with a crow? I'm just passing by. Don't mind me. So, these bathrooms here, I don't know if they've ever been open. Or are they even bathrooms? Yeah, they're bathrooms. Are they open? My god, they're actually open. Let's just go take a look really quick. And they're cleaning them too. I don't believe it. I don't know, it's been a while. I always assume that these things were closed. There's not even, okay, there is, yeah, so they do close them. But this, not for one day have I, have I ever seen this thing up and running. It's been years since I've even seen a kid in this park. So, I've seen people down here. I've been waiting for a cool day to do this, by the way. I mean, today it's like 75. I'm still a little sweaty, but. Now, I've seen people down here in this creek clean this creek up. Well, at least once. Volunteer groups. The water that flows is, for the most part, you know, fairly clean, except for the, the mercury. A lot of canals run through here but I'm pretty sure this this creek right here is the one this is the river that they wanted to turn into 
like um, something they have in Texas, they got something like this, where they have a creek running through that leads to downtown and they have a bunch of stores and businesses built alongside of it. But I guess they pulled that idea, which would have been awesome for San Jose. I would have loved something like that. And um, I don't know, maybe I should search that. Maybe there's a good video on uh, YouTube of what the one in Texas is like. You don't like those big birds. Anyways, ah. let us continue. Ah. So this is called the Guadalupe River Parking Garden, because that's the river ah. down there. Ah. Now I'll tell you, ah. this is different. Ah. I've never ah. seen it like this before. were meant to just be seats. Why not make them into a mural? They look so much better with these latest additions. So let's go along the trail. I don't even think it's possible. not even public access anymore. If I'm going in there, I'm going into someone's property. There's a sign right there in front. I'm not sure if you read that one. It says, we see everything. We see everything. Even when they're in a drug-induced haze, I'm sure they see everything. Let's go up here. It's been years since I've been up here. You gonna chill there? No, I can't let you chill here. Too many hawks around. Especially downtown, they love the skyscrapers. Downtown City Hall, yeah. This is, you know, the city's taking care of business here. My God. It's been years since I was up here. The closest I came to coming up here last time was during the whole Pokemon Go hype. And I came out here. This park used to be filled with people, like three, 400 people daily playing Pokemon Go. This, when, this was the first year that Pokemon Go came out. I even came down here, you guys, this saw my interviews. I actually did a few interviews down here with some people, if you recall. So I don't know what the hell the purpose of any of this is now, why any of this is sitting up here. Get on my shoulder, bro. Now, I guess it's just a another thug, heroin addict hangout. Okay. On this territory, all the way down the path. <laughs> this is the closest thing you're gonna find to kids in this park. Unless they're rebellious 14, 15 year olds coming here just to smoke pot and meet other people that they can get their drugs from find other resources <sighs> who am I to judge when I was 17 18 19 this is exactly what I was doing I was coming down here to this this river and me and my friends we'd come down here and we would get drunk smoke pot sometimes we would do other things usually smoke pot was that a bottle, was a bottle of urine someone came down here and decided to pee into a bottle rather than just take advantage of the uh, the privacy and just you know piss there there's the, what used to say the water company. Now it's just another vacant building. Just look how 
clean that water. This is probably some of the cleanest I've ever seen this water. It's really clear. It's usually pretty gray and gross. So, if you guys remember my Pokemon Go uh, videos, this, this was the side of the park where most of the people were on. And like all this whole area, you just see people everywhere. And as you can see, there's just the usual walkers, joggers, junkies. The good old court for tennis, tennis court, has seen better days. Looks like it's still usable and maybe even People are still using it because it's caught on fire, obviously, a few times. But you know, home has got to stay warm too. So, what if a few trees burn? What's the compassion for? Is it for the planet or is it for people? You can't have your cake and eat it too. Jesus Christ. Look. At this, what is this, some kind of homeless flea market? And this guy, who really passed me a minute ago, just came out of there. Look at that. There, there's, there's a hole cut in the fence. Like they got their own thing going on right now. It's, the, it's cut out. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can. Cut a hole in the fence, and they just got access back there. That's their home. They used to not allow this stuff. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Let's make San Jose the safest, cleanest, big city in America. Wh whatever happened to all that? It's like they don't even care anymore. Look at this. You know the, you can't tell me some homeless people left that there. Just chilling. But we're gonna go into Little Italy right now. This is Little Italy right over here. What is up with this? See, I'm just looking at this. I guess it's someone who probably lives there. These houses are old, but this? I don't think there's anybody living here. And what I'm looking at across the street, this is Little Italy. Oh yeah, huge economic, economic profit going on here. You know, this, this is, shit is actually probably super high just to, 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 to rent a space or buy a space of land here. It's gotta be outrageous. And this is what you're gonna deal with. Completely empty. Vacant shitholes. It's crap. But, so supposedly Google is going to be buying almost all of this out. I don't think they're going to be buying Little Italy, but I don't know. But what, what, what about these houses? Is, is Little Italy going to buy the, out these houses? You know, for Little Italy, there really isn't anything here. There's something poking me in my shirt. So we got like, I guess this cafe is Italian and it wasn't here before. It didn't used to be here. The building was there, but I'm, my guess is that they probably like gave someone some kind of incentive to work to build their thing here. Well, this is open. That's amazing. It actually sign actually says open. Miller High Life. World famous. But the doors are shut. I don't see any people. It's looking for takeout, of course. Please do not enter without a face card. So, I mean, they supposedly serve pork, but apparently they serve sheep as well, since you gotta have your face covering on. Ah! Let's just look at the rest of Little Italy before we take off out of here. So, all of it, of course, is on this, this side of the street, and on that side of the street, you got nothing. It's just building and parking lot and freeway. So, this looks like a house. There's no sign out front advertising any kind of Italian business. And this looks like a house. There's no sign out front advertising any kind of business. And here is an Italian cafe. I don't think they're open. No, they're closed. There's just nothing going on here. Was there ever anything really going on here besides that Miller High Life? Before COVID, honestly, no, not really, not not really much at all. Ah. 
a, a health center. It doesn't indicate anything about being Italian. And now we're leaving Little Italy, San Jose. What do we got here? Signature development. Well, it's Italian colored. This has got Italian colors. And then here we got Ristorante Italiano. One more Italian restaurant. Well, this is like the only Italian restaurant. Ever. I've always felt that Little Italy could be so much more than it is. It should have been fucking Japantown. Japantown! There's more in Japantown that signifies it more as a Japantown than Italy has anything about it being Italian. And, and uh, yeah. Japantown is not really that great either. San Jose is like, it's a really big city and you know, it's got all the stuff that you would normally expect a big city to have, but when it comes to its towns that are like foreign town, I think only Vietnam Town is the only place you're gonna go really to find, it's the only place you're gonna go where you're gonna find like a whole area that is foreign with those people. It's with like, you know, you're gonna find a bunch of Vietnamese there and lots and lots of mainly Vietnamese stores and restaurants. And that is a hell of a ways from here. This underpass is kind of far from other things. It's further from downtown, so I've never seen homeless people sleeping over here. I mean, we are downtown, yeah, but and we got Little Italy, of course, right over there. But as far as like any convenient uh, places to go, a convenience store or a liquor store or anything like that, they don't really come over here because it's just, you have to go a little bit further. There isn't a lot of foot traffic either. This is a, you know, it's big sidewalks, but the foot traffic, over, there's just nothing over here. This has been here since I moved in. It used to be ABC News or something like that. One of the news stations. One of those fake news stations. Wait. It looks like they're finally gonna fix that now. And there's a notice of development sign right up, right up front. So this one got built here while I was in San Jose. I watched that thing get built. And yeah, I watched this one get built. I kind of wanted one. Ah. And they replaced them with two modern, very modern looking glass buildings. Ah. The other day we were we had a meetup for the Bay Area Conservatives. We, we met up at this place that was an outdoor, specifically outdoor bar in San Mateo, bar, bar restaurant. All right? There is no way you can get inside any of these little uh, train train carts that they turned into buildings unless you're an employee. So their rule was if you're gonna be on your feet, you have to wear your mask, even if you're gonna be drinking your beer, which means drink your beer through your mask, swear to God. I mean, they didn't tell you that specifically, but the way they laid it out was that's, that's what it meant. If you're gonna stand up, you have to wear your mask. If you want to not drink through your mask, then you sit down. And since there's six people to a table, they made our sixth person sit by himself, literally on the other side of the bar. And when I say literally, I mean literally. One group, our group, six people, on the far end of one of the bar, and our seventh member sat all alone on the complete opposite side. Those were their rules. Okay, this, this is brand new right here. The alley at San Pedro Square. So this, is, this has got to be the development that I read about that they were, they were going to make. And this has got to be the walkthrough because I heard they were going to turn all this into some kind of walkthrough. This is all 
pretty cool. Ah. Outdoor dining. I wonder, it's probably different from county to county, my guess is. Ah. Is that if you're in Santa Clara County, they got these weird sit down, stand up rules that don't make any sense. When I was up in Contra Costa County, it was ah. like, oh, wait, but when we were in San Mateo, that's not Santa Clara County. So some, some counties, yes, some counties, no. Ah. It's so bizarre. Ah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so this is this is cool. I haven't been over here yet. I God, I, I can't wait for November 4th when all this COVID crap finally goes away. Then we can come over here and check all this yeah. stuff out. This almost looks like a little Italy more than little Italy. This is badass. This is stuff I've never seen before. But we're ah. completely dead, completely empty. <laughs> I first came here, the first time I came here, I remember I, I was hungry, but I had to use the bathroom. So I came in and the first thing I wanted to do was use the bathroom and the lady hesitated to let me use the bathroom. She just thought I was trying to, I guess she just thought I was trying to sneak the bathroom. And so then I had to tell her, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna buy some food too. Can I use the bathroom? And then she's like, okay. But it was literally an emergency. It was such an emergency. Oh my God, why is it all papered up? I wonder if they're doing some remodeling or if it's just done. Well, that would suck. Well, Susie Q's, Susie Q's, Peggy Sue's, Peggy Sue's. There's two of those, two restaurants like that in San Jose, Susie Q's and Peggy Sue's. Well, one of them is gone. Now, for all the COVID people, they got all this outdoor dining here in uh, San Pedro Square. And here they're also doing, like I said, the rule, stand up, mask, sit down, no mask. Like if I, if I stopped, if I stopped and stopped, stopped walking, someone would likely come up to me. Cause we were here for my brother's birthday just a couple of days ago, a few days ago. And yeah, they're pretty strict about all the rules. You stop, put on your mask or keep moving. <laughs> You know, I, I gotta mention this really, really funny thing about COVID is that when, when it was March, I saw people making posts saying, does anybody even know anybody who's who's gotten gotten it yet? I saw a lot of those. It was like four or five people making that, making that post. And then I saw, I think it was Amber, made a post saying that by June, people are gonna be wondering, gonna be asking, does anybody know anybody who doesn't, who didn't get COVID? Oh. April, May, June, July, August, September. I still don't know anybody who's gotten COVID. I mean, I know people who know people, which is equivalent to he said, she said. <laughs> I used to be up on this street every single day going to work. I would commute from Keys, get off on Santa Clara Street right down here, and then catch, not that bus, but a bus heading that way, 22, to get off uptown to go to work to my job at, uh, at Togo's. Now I'm approaching what was once the heart of downtown and for some people still kind of is the nastiest, nastiest. First in Santa Clara, second in Santa Clara. Is there others? I don't know. Here's the old Lincoln School. I'm glad they changed that. I tried to get in there once. had on the radio some some advertisement that if you write an outstanding essay you can get into the school for free and it was all false advertisement I was at such a desperate time so depressed and trying to figure out what the hell to do with my life that I wrote the outstanding essay and went in there and tried to get into this Lincoln School of Law 
only to find out that yeah it's not just a not just an essay like we got one of these little machines running around I wonder if they're just getting along on their own or if they got some kind of camera and some guy controlling them now here's something you guys might remember anybody come down here second Santa Clara first in Santa Clara when I was first down here there's the wolves. Yeah. Finally long gone. Some of the... Ah, uh, I just, I did not like that. The nastiest, ugliest. I look at me and talk shit ugly people. Both, both, both customers and staff. Might as well be talking about myself because I was a customer there many times. But this place right here, when I first moved to San Jose, this was a Mexican restaurant. As you can see, the arches are still there, but now they just filled them in. Eventually it got bought out or something or sold. Uh, and Jack, no, no, Carl's Jr. bought it. So it was Carl's Jr. for a while, but that only lasted for like a couple of years, two or three years maybe. And then they just decided to board it up, which sucks because this whole street, if you go down the street here, it's pretty much just like that. That's pretty much what's been happening slowly to downtown San Jose. Everything is just getting boarded up. They, they, they invested, from what I've heard, I don't know this for sure and I don't know any names, but a lot of money was invested to try and revive downtown San Jose but at the same time they also set some really stupid rules about what people were allowed to do like it was meant to be business and not really so much about fun this is just hearsay and this this used to be the VTA office across the street right there what is it now they got some some Jewish cafe right there that is still still up and running somehow somehow miraculously is still still there but it hasn't been there for very long it, it's been there for like a number of years like five years or something but i remember when i opened up and there was there was nothing there that was just some random business that there was there was nothing going on there and everything else around it i thought it wasn't gonna last because everything around it is just shut down and it's all boarded up and there's just nothing but homeless people oh, one more thing before i leave this this area so one day when i was going to work I'm sitting right here at the bus stop, Santa Clara Street, right? I'm right here at the bus stop. And the first time I, I, this is the first time I've ever had to witness this. I know it's like just a regular thing in San Francisco and it's pretty much become just a regular thing now here in San Jose, even though the, the crowds are dispersed. This used to be just filled with fucking crackheads and homeless people everywhere. So I'm sitting there at the bus stop right over there before they built that, that shade thing. It was just, it used to, it used to just be a couple of benches that were like, they were like, you know, those curved benches like that. And it was a tree. Oh wow, that tree has gotten big. And I can tell you exactly why that tree got so big. I turn to my left and I look and I see some homeless guy with his pants down to his ankles, bare ass, leaning up against this tree sideways and shit is just flowing. And I turn and look at the same time that this lady sitting next to me turns and looks. And I just, I remember the look on her face. She just, she just turns her head and she looks and she's like, oh my God. And, and I just, I myself couldn't believe that, that I'd witnessed that right there on the streets. And broad daylight, nobody stopped him. It was no big deal. 